Hi friends, it's Rocky again. Today we're going to talk about Jesus's, Jesus, Jesus's, <laughs> Jesus power, Jesus's power. How, okay, however you say that. Anyways, we're going to talk about Jesus's, Jesus power. <laughs> Um, a lot of people have been really fearful about the coronavirus, the COVID-19, but Jesus's power calms fears. So what I'd like to do is let's sing a song together about Jesus's power. Okay, ready? Everybody get up, all young and old, whoever you are, let's everybody stand up and let's sing the song together. Ready? Let's go. Thanks for singing with me. So let's get back to the discussion of fears. Let's talk about that a little more. What makes you afraid or what makes you scared? What are you fearful about right now? For me, you know, I'm fearful for my family, especially my parents. They're getting older and, you know, I don't want to see them get sick. So anyway, how about you? What are you fearful for? What are you afraid of right now? 
I'll tell you what, why don't you pause this video and have a discussion with your family and I'll be here waiting for you when you get back. Ready? Go now. Being scared is nothing new. In fact, it even happened in the Bible. Let's see how Jesus' power calmed the fears of some people who were very, very scared, okay? All right, for this story, we need a few supplies, okay? So what you're going to need is you're going to need a bowl of water like this, and you're going to need a towel. Okay, so why don't you pause this video, go get those few supplies, and then come back and I'll be waiting for you when you get back. We'll tell our story. Ready? Go ahead now. Okay, are you ready for our story? If you want to find it in your Bible, it is found in Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41. Okay, Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41. Okay, so Jesus and his friends were on a boat. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your hand in the water like it's a boat, okay? Just floating right there on top, okay? So there they are. All of a sudden, a storm started, okay? So now it's swirl our water around, okay? Swirl it around, maybe make a few waves, maybe splash in a little bit, but really swirl it in. We're really getting the water going. We're gonna, the storm is just going crazy. And all the while, Jesus is asleep during this storm. Keep the water going, keep it swirling, keep it splashing, keep it splashing. There you go, the storm has just gone crazy. Well, Jesus' friends, they were really afraid. They were scared. So Jesus' friends went to go wake him up. Jesus, please help us. This storm has gone crazy and we're so afraid. Well, Jesus got up. Keep it going, keep it going. The storm's going crazy. Jesus got up and he said, silence, be still. Now keep, now let your hand out. Take your towel and we can wipe our hand off. But then watch the water as it calms. So not only did Jesus calm the fear of his friends, but he also calmed the storm because Jesus' power can be very calming. So now I have three questions for you. After each question, what I'd like you to do is pause the video and discuss it with your family, okay? Are you ready? Question one is, what happened to the water in our bowl? And how is that like feeling afraid? I'll ask that again. What happened to the water in our bowl? And how is that like feeling afraid? Ready, pause now. What if you were in the boat? What would scare you? Imagine that you were in the boat with those disciples. Imagine you were there in the boat and the storm came. What would scare you the most? Go ahead and pause the video and talk about this question. Okay, and the last question. What does this event show you about Jesus' power over your fear? Let me say that again. What does this event in the Bible show you about Jesus' power over your fear? Go ahead and pause this and talk about this. Wow. Jesus' power calmed the fears of his friends, and it calmed the storm. When we have our fears that are just swirling up inside like a big storm inside of us, we can always turn to Jesus, because Jesus' power calms our fears. You know, there are some times where people blame God, and they push God away. Why do you think they would do that? Hmm, maybe we should take a minute. Why do you think they would do that? But you know, 
Jesus's friends, they didn't turn from him. In fact, they went to him, Jesus, help us. And what did he do? He definitely helped them, didn't he? He calmed his friends' fears and he also calmed the storm. Isn't that wonderful? So we always know that when we're in that storm and whirlwind of fear, we can always turn to Jesus because Jesus's power will calm our fears. Let's close by drawing closer to Jesus, okay? And let's talk with him. But first, I want you to think of somebody, somebody that has always helped you when you're afraid, somebody that you can turn to when you're afraid. Can you think of that one person Then I'd like for you to think of what they do to help calm your fear. Think about that. What do they do to help you to calm your fear? Think about that for a second. For me, I always turn to my husband. He always comforts me. I can just talk with him and he knows some encouraging words that he just helps to comfort me. So I, I love to go to him, but you know, maybe you have a friend or, or a parent or a sibling, somebody that you want to go to. But what I'd like to do in, in our prayer is I will, um, pray and then I will pause and I want you to shout out the name that you were thinking of that helps to calm you when you're afraid. And then later in the prayer, I will I will pause again for you to be able to say or even just think about what it is that they do for you. Okay, are you ready? Let's pray. Thank you, God, for putting people in our lives. When I am afraid, I know that I can always go to I am thankful that when I am scared, they're always there to help me by. Lord, thank you for putting them in my life so that I can love and trust them. I love you and in Jesus name, I praise you. Amen. Okay, so sometimes we just need that short little um that short little prayer just to appreciate the people that are around us and how much they do for us. When we're afraid, we know we can always go to them. So now what I'd like to do is sing our song from VBS last year. One of the things that we learned was that when we're afraid, God is good. All we have to do is trust in him. So let's sing that song. We got one more song that we can sing together. Are you guys ready? Let's do it. Are you ready? Here we go. Wherever you lead me, I'm gonna follow. I'm trusting you, God. You are good. Life will be crazy, wild and amazing. I'm trusting you, God.
daylight Anything can happen Can't hardly wait to see what's next I wanna face this world with wonder and excitement Makes every challenge every day always so much fun. So one last thought that I'd like to leave you with before I go. How can we stay closer to Jesus when we're afraid about the coronavirus? How can we stay closer to Jesus when we're afraid about the coronavirus? That's the last thought that I want to leave you with. Okay, guys, I will see you soon. Bye now.